What's up guys? Welcome to Heartland Park in Topeka, Kansas. Um, we're here for Grid Life round a lot. Uh, eighth, ninth event for me this year? It, it's been a lot. Um, but anyway, uh, we got a real skeleton crew this weekend. It's just me, my dad, and we got Senna down there. So uh, unfortunately, however you guys couldn't make it out this weekend, but that's all right. We're just gonna do it old school. Just uh, hopefully try to have no issues. That, that's the goal this weekend. But New track to me, this is probably the fifth new track of the season for me. So NOLA was new, COTA, NCM, Autobahn, and now Heartland Park. So I've never been here before. And in true typical Eric fashion, I went out for the first session and didn't even look at track video because I forgot. So first first few laps out there, I was completely blind, but figured it out after a few laps. So um, got a pretty decent lap in. I got it like a 44.6, which I'm not really sure if that's good or not yet. But right now we're just trying to shake the car down and we're testing some new stuff on the EG. We got the no aero setup on the car um, for this event, which um, the way GLTC rules are written is if you use a front splitter, it's plus 3% to your weight. And if you use a large rear wing, it's another plus 3% weight. So we're trying it with the no down for or the low drag aero setup. So with this front air dam, it's uh, essentially just a big plastic piece. And you can kind of see it's designed to be as low as possible and wear away on the track. So, so far, I think that's doing a pretty good job. And then we got the small rear wing in the back. This guy is tiny. It's, uh, it's a 240 square inches, which is right at the minimum for a no points wing. So with these two aerodynamic devices, we are looking at about 140 pounds of weight lost at the expense of downforce. So I do know this track, it's, uh, it's pretty damn quick. I already did one session out there. There's a lot of really fast sections. So I think it's gonna be pretty tough to make the setup work, but so far the car feels good. So I think we're gonna continue running it as is, um, see what we can do. And uh, yeah, just try to figure this track out and try to go fast. So like I said, Skeleton Crew, um, this is my first time handling the camera equipment. I have no idea what I'm doing. So if the videos come out shaky and uh, not great, well, sorry, but I'm trying to bring you guys along for this event. Unfortunately, there is no live stream, so hopefully I can show you guys what this event's all about. Um, like, subscribe, comment, hit that smash, smash that like button, whatever those YouTubers say. So, uh, yeah, wish me luck this weekend. Hopefully we have a, a drama-free event. That's, that's always the goal, so. Looks good.
I'm gonna do the qualifying recap in my truck because it is 90 plus degrees out here. Super damn hot. We got the AC blasting the truck. Senna's enjoying it in here too. He's really hot. Um, but wow, that was probably the sketchiest qualifying session I ever had in a long time. Um, let's just say the no arrow setup is fast, but it's also the most terrifying thing ever. Um, the first slap out, um, you can really lean on the front tires quite a bit and there's these high speed sections on the track where you can kind of throw the car into it, commit, go full throttle and carry that speed and the front end hooks up. Um, I'm talking about like corner eight on the back straight. Then the next consecutive laps, um, the front end did not want to hook up. So you would go into that corner and the front would just wash out and you would go flying. I think I flew into the grass two or three times. One of the times I was actually uh, sliding through it, going sideways, just because I was trying to get the front end to bite and kind of overshot it and then the back end came around and I was trying to save it. Um, it was pretty terrifying. I, I don't know how fast we're going, but we're, we're top of fourth, bottom of fifth. So that's gotta be at least 110 miles per hour and you're sliding through the grass. It's uh, it's pretty damn scary. But um, another problem I had was uh, fourth gear seems to be popping out um, when you're kind of coasting around a corner on that D-cell. So like you go into a corner and you lift off and then you're kind of coasting around the corner and if you have to like either change speed, if you lift off, the fourth gear just pops out. So um, I was actually dealing with that in the whole session, which which made it quite difficult just to kind of get a good lap in. Um, and there was a couple of times where I just started holding the fourth gear down through those corners where I knew it was happening, which is extremely difficult because my car does not have power steering. So I'm, I'm trying to hold the wheel with my left hand, hold fourth gear with my right hand, um, just to get a decent lap in. And uh, I managed to get one good lap in near the end. Um, I, I was basically killing myself every time in turn eight just because I would either over slow or go into the grass, but managed to nail it the final lap. Um, got a good lap in. I got a 143.8, I believe. And uh, that's good for pole, provisional pole so far. We do have another pole session in the morning tomorrow. Um, but for now, we're on pole. Um, P2 is... Uh, Justin Kelly, he's local, he's about three hours away, so he knows his track really well, so just happy to be in front of him, because um, beating a local at his track is, uh, it's not easy, so I'm just glad, um, glad we're on pole, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I got the car through that session in one piece, because there was a few times where I was considering bailing and just spinning the car just to kind of prevent it going into the barriers or something, but um, yeah, car's good. Uh, I did have uh, another exhaust hanger come off. I think that's why the exhaust is cracking. I can't keep the rear hanger on, so we gotta fix that. And then uh, just, uh, I don't know, just check the car over and get it ready for tomorrow morning. I think the next qualifying session, it's gonna be about 10 a.m. in the morning. So it's probably gonna be quicker. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't rain, but if not, if it does, that's good. That means we're gonna be on pole for the start of the weekend. So another good start to the weekend. Um, let's keep this up near first and not, you know, end up off track like Mid Ohio. So let's not do that.
Something is making noise. Place, with the exhaust halfway off. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that was tough. I didn't, uh, didn't know if this track was gonna race well. And I, I came into that race expecting it wasn't going to, but Justin's car was kind of all over the place and managed to make a move stick, but it was kind of, I was kind of nervous about racing him in the start because Jeremy Swenson was right behind us the whole time. And I knew if we held each other up um, that Jeremy was just gonna go right around both of us, but managed to make it stick. Oh, come here, boy. Managed to make it stick, got first place. Ran a pretty good lap time, just kind of was conservative near the end. Ugh, come here, bud. And uh, yeah, car's okay. good. Got to fix the exhaust. Um, definitely broke again, so that sucks. I mean, look, let me, give me the camera. Look, this was the last lap. Yeah. Exhaust basically dragging on the ground. So yeah, that's, that's not fun at all. <laughs> Um, I also had fourth gear pop out on me um, once. Man, it's too dark. Yeah, fourth gear popped out a few times, so that problem's progressing to get worse. Um, I'm not really sure what we're gonna do, but first I gotta fix that exhaust, and then I guess we're gonna look into some D10 springs. Try to keep that fourth gear in. Um, I tried using fifth a little bit more that last race. I think that helped. Um, but man, I'm tired. Hot. Very hot, a lot of hustling. Um, yeah, that's uh, first place for the no aero setup. So I'm digging it. Anyway, race two, four hours, we got some time. Um, gonna have to add 75 pounds of rewards weight. The good news is we were close to 50 pounds overweight already. So we're just gonna put in my weight plate. That should be the 25 that we need. And uh, yeah, just go from there.
Oh,